Today we're celebrating 20 years of Firestone Walker. Hey guys, Sean here from Everyday Aficionados, and today we have a very special beer from Firestone Walker. This is their 20th anniversary ale. This one is 13% ABV, and it is a blend of five of their barrel-aged beers that they made throughout 2016. As always with Firestone Walker's anniversary beers, it comes with this really cool note from the brewer that tells you some information about their anniversary, some descriptors about the beer, and the percentage of each barrel-aged beer that's used in that year's blend. So for this year, we have 40% Parabola, 20% Sticky Monkey, 17.5% Velvet Merkin, 12.5% Bravo, and 10% Helderado. Some of the descriptors that they say for it include brandy soaked cherries, chocolate cake, American oak notes, rich brown sugar, fruit cake, caramel, cinnamon spice, and overall they say it's silky smooth, incredibly balanced, and finishes with a touch of kirsch filled truffle. I mean that says it right there, those descriptors sound amazing. Really excited to get into the 20th anniversary. So for the aroma on this one, definitely getting the barrel aged character coming through. Huge toasted coconut note. Definitely a solid vanilla sweetness. Very bourbony and boozy smelling. Nice rich toffee caramel characteristics. A little bit of a brown sugar type note. Like a cinnamon spice type character in there as well. Just lots of sweet dessert like characteristics. Again, huge toasted coconut, very oaky as well, molasses sweetness coming through, a little bit of a dark chocolate note, solid boozy dark fruit character coming through too. Again, it smells really sweet and dessert-like and really boozy. Cheers. Wow. That just explodes with flavor. I think they mentioned fruitcake on the description in the paper. You're getting that character coming through. It's like a sweet, dessert, cakey booziness. Lots of dark fruits in there. Brandy-soaked cherries is another descriptor they mentioned. And it's hard to ignore that characteristic coming through. It has this undercurrent of really sweet, like brown sugar and molasses and that cinnamon sugar type character coming through too. It's got like the bourbony, boozy spices, lots of dark fruits. And again, that like sweet fruitcake character. It absolutely drinks like a boozy dessert sipping beer. Behind that, you're getting the bourbon barrel characteristics coming through. Huge toasted coconut as with most of Firestone Walker's barrel aged beers. Vanilla sweetness coming through. Those bourbony spices that you get from a lot of bourbon barrel aged beers. Really big oaky character, slightly smoky. And, and again, a little bit of a dark chocolate character coming through. But it's really all about those dessert, really sweet characteristics that I was already talking about. There is a bit of a milk chocolatey character in there too. It kind of goes along with all the other sweet dessert like characteristics you get. Especially like the, the caramel and toffee notes. There's a nice milk chocolatey character that intermingles with that. It's funny that this was made by winemakers because I feel like it almost has like a dessert wine characteristic to it or maybe even like slightly approaching a liqueur like a dark fruit liqueur type thing. It's just really dessert like. On the back end though you do get a little bit of a, a drying oaky character that helps to counteract all the sweetness. And the one thing on this one that is a little bit disappointing that I also found disappointing from Parabola is just the body. It's a little bit thin. I would say actually like medium minus almost. But it absolutely is not thin on flavor. Again, incredible dessert-like sweet characteristics in this one. Huge boozy, just bourbony, dark fruits, and all that goodness that you expect in a barrel-aged beer. Finishes up with that lingering caramel toffee character, the huge toasted coconut vanilla like notes the booziness slight warming going down the dark fruits just a crazy amount of like mind numbing flavors on the palate for my final thoughts on firestone walker's 20th anniversary ale this one is going to get an a plus from me huge complex flavors to this beer 
Again, incredibly dessert-like. It drinks like a winter warmer in some aspects. You get the huge bourbon notes. Just very sweet, dessert-like, and boozy. Again, it drinks like a dessert wine or a liqueur, something like that. There's a ton of different flavors going on in this one, and they all work together very nicely. A very successful blend. So if you can still get your hands on a bottle of the 20th anniversary, definitely check it out. It's one of the better Firestone Walker beers that I've had. Were you guys able to try Firestone Walker's 20th Anniversary Ale? Have you had any other vintages? Let me know your thoughts on this year's version and any vintages you've had in the comments below. Until next time, drink responsibly and passionately. Thanks for watching.